free to play Luna Light. This is a real free to play. I don't know what your definition of free to play is, but my free to play is one box, no reset. You could play this and you will clap fools. There can only be one winner and you're looking at it. Let's go. So a few things before we talk about this deck. This is the free to play version. One box, no reset. We had a 100 player dual room tournament of many great players and Payne from the DLM Discord, he topped it with this. He won prize support with this. So this is a good way to update your free to play deck by getting a third Martin. You could play Sphere Kribo. You could add Cosmic Cyclones if you want to. So this is the non free to play version. And here's the free to play version. Very, very similar. Shout out to Nyx for this deck idea. Now, please let me know in the comments. What is your definition of free to play? What would you like to see from me? Because I've been seeing some other YouTubers and they are saying that a free to play deck has ultra rare synchro monsters in it. I couldn't believe it. But if that's what you all are accepting as being free to play, having to go through many different boxes for ultra rare and super rare synchro monsters, even though they're not part of the main deck, but they are a core part of the deck then let me know because to me, that's not acceptable to tag it with free to play. So no hate to any of them. Just you let me know. You let me know and I will provide it. But either way, this is one box, no other boxes for the extra deck, for the main deck, not even the normals, commons, not for the rares. This is a single box, nothing else from another box. This would be free. For example, this is from the card trader, or you'll maybe have an event reward, but otherwise one box. So if you are new, returning, first time playing, I do suggest playing a deck like this. So the main thing to understand about this deck is the boss monsters, Saber Dancer and Cat Dancer. Saber Dancer requires three Luna Lights with your fusion, which will be the polymerization or your Luna Light fusion. And the Cat Dancer only requires two Luna Lights. It could be any of them. Now, the Saber Dancer, you want to know this one for being very large and in charge, cannot be targeted by card effects. So against a Dark Magician deck with Dark Magical Circle, this could straight up just win the game. They will possibly have no out to it. Now, if you have Cat Dancer on the field, this cannot be destroyed by battle. So can't be destroyed by battle, can't be targeted by card effects. Also, if you have a fox in the graveyard, you can negate a card that would target a Luna Light you control. So you could have a cat dancer plus a fox in the graveyard and you'll negate a targeting effect and can't be destroyed by battle. How do you close a game? How do you get that game win? How do you finish the game? Well, one of the main cards to finish the game is gonna be your fox. If you get Fox in the graveyard, and I'll tell you how, it will activate to put a monster to zero attack temporarily. And while there's zero attack, you're going to want the Cat Dancer mostly to win the game. Now, Cat Dancer will tribute another monster you control to give it the ability to double attack all of your opponent's monsters. And the first time you attack, they don't get destroyed by battle. So if you set them to zero attack temporarily, then you activate the Cat Dancer for a double attack where they don't get destroyed in the first one. You do the math, that's over 4,000 damage, that's lethal. Now, you would think that that's 4,800 damage. It's actually 5,000 because every attack, she'll deal an extra 100 damage on the attack. So 5K over one monster. Otherwise, you could have a Saber Dancer which could easily get up to 4,000 attack by having five Luna Lights in the graveyard and or banish, it does become 4,000 and attack over that zero attack. So let's talk about some combos with this deck. Luna Light Fusion is the main card of the deck and it's searchable with your Martin being sent to the graveyard for a card effect. So if you activate Palmerization or Luna Light Fusion to send the Martin, it will search for another Luna Light Fusion. Or if you normal summon a bird, it will activate to discard a Luna Light to draw a card. If you discard the Martin, you get to search for the Luna Light Fusion. So if you do decide to further invest in the stack beyond one box, no reset, 
you're going to want to reset the box to get your third Martin, because when comboed with your bird, you grab the Lunalife Fusion. Otherwise, to make this deck more consistent, we're playing Destiny Draw. Destiny Draw, after losing 2,000 life, you could search your deck for any card. Normally, we will be searching for a Lunalife Fusion, or we might be searching for the bird and or Martin combo if we're missing one of those combo pieces. Another great thing about Lunar Life Fusion is, is if they have an extra deck monster on the field, you can use this to send from your deck or your extra deck to assist in the fusion summon. So you'll only need one Lunar Light in your hand and or the field, and then you could send the other Lunar Light from the deck to the graveyard. That will trigger the effect of the Fox to reduce them to zero. That will trigger the effect of Martin from the deck and or hand or field being sent to the graveyard to grab a Lunar Light Fusion. If the bird is sent to the graveyard, it will activate to summon a Lunar Light that's banished or in the graveyard onto the field. And then what about back row? We have the Lunar Light White Rabbit. This on summon will special summon a Lunar Light from the graveyard. You can activate to return back row cards equal to other Luna Lights you control, so it could return one to two back row cards. And our protection is Karibo and the Temperance. These are hand traps. When they go in for lethal, you want them to deal at least 2,000 damage, then stop the rest of the attacks, triggering the D-draw, then you follow up with the Wham Bam Thank You Ma'am combo. Now there's some other little tricks here, like the Saber Dancer, if it's in the graveyard for a turn, you could banish it to boost up your monster by plus 3,000. That's insane. And allow me to show you the basic combo with this deck. Here is a very common combo with the deck. Okay, ready? You will summon the bird. The bird will activate to discard to draw. You discard the Martin, you draw a card. Now the Martin will activate to grab a Luna Light Fusion from the deck to your hand. We already drew a Luna Light, but basically we'll search it. Now you're not done. How are you going to fuse with just a bird in the field? You're not. Martin has an effect, another effect, where it could return a Luna Light you control back to the hand to summon itself onto the field. And just like that, you could Luna Light fusion. But wait, there is more. When the bird is sent to the graveyard, the Martin will be banished because it was summoned from the graveyard through its effect. We summon the Cat Dancer. Now the Cat Dancer's got that effect to tribute another monster to perform that double attack onto all the monsters. Well, the bird when sent to the graveyard will summon the Martin onto the field, and you could leave it there, or you could activate the effect of the Dancer, tribute it, and now you got double attacking with the Cat Dancer. And that's all, a two card combo. If you mix that up with a Fox to send the Fox to reduce them to zero attack, you got lethal. That easy. And that's the deck. Love it. Free to play. One box. No reset. Have fun. Do we want to discard with the bird? We gonna, we're gonna. we chilling on Temperance. We got Temperance. We got him. Let's go. Not a good duel before this one. Keeper discarding the bacon. Grab that Neos Fusion. Activate my Destiny Draw. We're going to pick up our deck. We're going to grab anything we want. You wasted time in the first duel against Invokes Neos. That is 100% incorrect. That's against a top tier, tier one deck. A Metaphys deck, no one's playing Metaphys. You're not gonna see Metaphys on the ladder, maybe one out of a hundred duels, one out of a thousand. So that, a stall deck that's not even a meta deck, that's a waste of time. But a top tier deck like Invokes Neos, however long it takes, not a waste of time. Negate! Deidre! Grab that Luna Life Fusion! Fusion! Martin! Dancer! Fox get reducing. Reduce. Martin get searching for the follow up. Rabbit. Ribbit. Rabbit. Now. I want to keep Fox in the graveyard to make sure we cannot be targeted by card effects. I'm summoning a Martin, okay? White Rabbit Return. 
Return. Woo! All right. Get dancing. Get tributing. Okay, focus, focus. Now, okay, okay. Focus, focus. Attack! Bacon negates. Now, you could also tribute the Martin, then return the rabbit. But we might need the Martin for protection. Attack! Boom! Attack! <laughs> yes! Attack! <laughs> Back to Fortnite! Yes! Through a bacon saber and a back row! Negate! Pop! Attack, attack, attack! Yes! Free to play! Lunalite! Next stack. I gotta lose, man. If I ain't losing, we ain't swapping. I gotta lose one more. Just one. One loss, we out. All right, $12 sub, dual room, free entry, no judges, no deckless submission. Play completely anonymously for prime support. Play with the best players in the game. He does not see the world champion Matt. He has no idea what he's getting into. Take it. Negate. Get Destiny drawing. Let's grab the bird. The bird is the word. Get going, get flaming, let's go. We are free to play. Grab my Luna Light Fusion. Martin, get returning. Return. Come back to me. Luna Light Fusion. We're going to dance on this fool. Dance on him. Get dancing. Activate the fox. Reduce the fool. Activate the bird. Summon the fox. Activate. Tribute. Get. Palmerizing. Attack! You got bacon. You got bacon. Show me the bacon. Fool! Show me the bacon. <laughs> Free to play. Let's go. Fool! Accept it, Aster. We are free to play. Back to Fortnite. Let's get to it. We got Karibo Temperance. We are well protected. Am I not getting it? Oh. Hey! Noble MC, get out of here! One more hit. One more hit. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Make the plays. Let's do it. Let's pop off. I think I won't even negate him flipping. I think we might just be okay with that. What do you think? Save the fox for when we care? Maybe. What do you think? Let him flip. 
Then if he pierces us with Purgatrio, we get D-Draw. Yes? Okay. I will willingly trigger his D-Draw. Because we got big balls. Let's go. Get flipping. Get flip his own monster face down if he wants to. Flip me. Flip you, flip me. Flip you, flip me. You flip yourself. Get flipping. All right. He didn't want us to negate. Okay. He didn't want us to give him a free D draw. Hmm. Why would you not want me to give you a D draw? Get invoke, and if he deals just 100 damage, we will be searching. Why not Master of Fusion? You could play Master of Fusion, or you could play D-Draw. But D-Drawing into a Lunalite Light Fusion could be better. Cockatiss. Okay, we need the Saber Dancer to take out the Cockatiss. Set in. Set, set in. I don't need Lava Golem. Lunar Light Fusion. Okay. We chilling? We chilling. Let's go. Mole Hue changing itself to fire. So this will give us Rabbit. Rabbit will summon Fox. Then Rabbit will return both back row. Then Rabbit will turn into a Saber Dancer. Let's go. Chat, believe in me. Purgatrio get purging. Just 100 damage, that's all I need. Oof. Perfectly 2K. Perfect 2K. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? 1600? I allow it. What are you gonna cowboy me for game? Deedroll! Come to me, rabbit! Rise! Activate! Return! Activate! Return! Luna! Light! Fusion! I send the dancer, let's get dancing. Send you, send you, and I send you. Focus! Oh, whoa, whoa, that's my song, that's my song, let's go! Fox! Reduce! <laughs> yes! Free to play! Reduce to zero! Lethal! Yes!